Hey guys, Rob here, lead videographer over Brian Photo and Video, and I'm here to talk about how to choose a videographer. Now, if you're not really that interested in videography services, that's totally fine. You could put that budget elsewhere like floral, catering, uplighting with the DJ, but if you are interested in documenting your day, please stay tuned for my tips on how to choose a videographer. It's not working, hold on. Babe, it's not working! Tip number one, you're going to want to make sure that they're respectful and inclusive to all the attendees at your wedding. And this is super simple to figure out. Have a phone conversation, have a video chat meeting, ask questions. I don't know how many times people contact us through email, requesting a quote, seeing if we're available for the day, and then just simply booking. It's great, but this is a big investment for your day. You want to do your due diligence on that person to make sure that you're bringing someone in that's a great team member. Number two, what is their style? Anybody can put a video up online that's truly amazing. What are they gonna be delivering to you? Full documentary edits, short film format, highlight film. You want to ask questions. Some great questions would be, is your footage stabilized? How many people do you mic up during the ceremony? There is nothing worse than investing money and time into a videographer that you expect is gonna make an amazing film, but only to get it back and it's shaky and the audio is terrible. Simply ask to see some of their films. I always recommend to at least see two to three films that the person's done recently so you can see their consistency. Their style is how they tell your story. You're gonna want someone that takes your expectations and totally exceeds it. Number three, are they insured? Now, most venues are actually gonna require your vendors to have liability insurance, just in case of any incidents. You can simply contact your coordinator or point of contact of the venue to see if the insurance is required. If so, this is super easy for a videographer to get the certificate of insurance or binder for the venue on that day. Now, maybe one of the biggest questions, what is a good price? The most expensive videographer doesn't mean the best and the least expensive definitely doesn't mean the worst. Shorter, modern wedding cinematic films are the new wave. Gone are the long documentary style edits with Lighthouse playing in the background. There's a ton of work that still goes into this. Pre-production, on-site shooting, post-production processing, and editing. Now, depending on their experience, how many weddings they've done, their portfolio, a good price point for an experienced videographer should start around 2,000 plus dollars. You might be saying to yourself, this is a ton of money, I don't know if I wanna do this anymore. That's totally fine, don't stress. There are still people out there that are building their portfolios that will be a lot more affordable. Cause seriously, there ain't no shame in getting something that makes you smile because you get to see your significant other look at you for the first time on that day. But you have to consider that if the price tag is 2000 plus dollars, you need to make sure the portfolio matches that price point. And finally, what are the reviews? Now, reviews aren't the deciding factor, which is probably why it's number five on this list, but it's definitely something you want to consider. You want to see how consistent that person is. And don't simply trust their website when they put up three stellar reviews. You wanna do some research. Check out their Google reviews, their Facebook business page, Wedding Wire. There's so much more. I would never buy anything from Amazon unless I read a ton of reviews and did some research on a product first. What you're looking for is their consistency. Now, like I said, reviews aren't everything. If they have 100 great reviews and two bad ones, that could simply be chalked up to a bad day or even just a bad experience with that client from the vendor's perspective. Remember, choosing a wedding videographer is one of the many important decisions you will be making about your day. Use these tips to help you make a more informed decision. Now, you've probably gone on a Facebook group, wedding yard sale, requesting videography services, and received over a hundred people saying, I'd love to be a part of your day. And now you're totally lost because you have a hundred different companies trying to bid for your day. Use these five simple tips 
to find the best videographer for you and your day. I will leave a link for our website in the socials below. If you can, give a like on this video and leave any comments that you think could be additional tips to help couples find a wedding videographer or even other vendors. Thank you for checking out this video. I am Rob, lead videographer of O'Brien Photo and Video, and I will catch you on the next one.